So this year I've had the pleasure of actually sharing our knowledge about new devices that are coming out or that some are that are on the market. And what we found is there's really new applications with all these devices. We're learning what things that we should look for, how we can add it into our practice, what we can do to improve our patient retention and help them more in the future. This year for 2016 Cosmetic Surgery Forums, I spoke in cosmetic controversies on Intracell, which is radio frequency, so it's micro needling, and it's monopolar and bipolar um, radio frequency. So very, very exciting in terms of decreasing acne scarring, decreasing stretch marks. It helps a ton in terms of surgical scars for people that have a cut on their face, after a facelift, after breast surgery, that type of thing, those surgical scars. It also helps a ton in terms of overall facial rejuvenation and pore size. So this is technology that I'm very excited about. I talked about one of the newer lasers I'm really excited about called Halo, which is a non-ablative fractional and a fractional ablative uh, all in one, simultaneously treating the patient's less downtime and then less significant downtime in terms of really it's just a sunburn type of appearance. I also talked about scars, where we see patients who may have had a skin cancer surgery and may have had a traumatic scar, and we are tending to treat scars earlier and more effectively by using these fractional ablative modalities to zip over scars. We can improve texture, we can also improve erythema. Sometimes we'll actually jump in there and use something like a pulse dye laser as well. So this has been a great meeting, I've really enjoyed it. I'm also teaching on sort of innovative things from around the world and showing some new things that we've done. And one of the things that I'm very proud of um, is some of the work that I've done in China. And we've talked about the fact that intense pulse lights have been around for almost 25 years now. Um, but people don't realize if you treat patients on a yearly basis with intense pulse light, how we can turn back the clock. We have looked at 2,500 patients that had at least one IPL treatment for, at, for 10 years. And what we showed was almost a 90% of patients, we turned back their clocks. And so it's really the largest laser IPL study that's ever been done. And um, the results are phenomenal. 